All right, guys, I'm back. I got my original Pixel 3a XL phone, and we're gonna test out this splitter and see if we can watch HDCP content protected videos on an external HDMI monitor. So I'll bring you in close and we'll check it out. Before I start testing this out with the phone, I wanna just point one little thing out. So this mouse cursor, if you look at my original video, the mouse cursor showed up on the external monitor and I was using this adapter, which I'm using now. So I have the exact same phone, exact same adapter, and it's a different display, but that doesn't really matter. But the mouse cursor does not show up on the external monitor here. You can see it down here moving around. It's not up here. You don't see it at all. So what has happened is Google has disabled ability for display link to display the mouse on the screen here, the mouse cursor. It used to work, but I updated my Pixel 3 phone here and after I updated it, it did not work. And if you go back to my other video, my Pixel 6 phone had the same issue. And somebody suggested using a Bluetooth mouse, which I'm using now. And the same thing, it doesn't matter if it's Bluetooth or not, the mouse cursor is not gonna show up on the screen. So I think Google is doing this intentionally so that more people will be forced to buy the Chromecast adapter and so they can make more money and instead of using the display links stuff, which is better, but Google pushed this update and disabled it. So. Anyway, that out of the way, we're gonna plug in this. Right now I have the phone connected straight from the phone into here and then into the external monitor. So I'm gonna connect the phone from the phone into the adapter into the splitter and then go to the monitor and we'll test out Amazon Prime and we'll see how this works. And then after I do that, I'll test out the hub here. All right, so I got the adapter hooked up to the splitter here and the splitter hooked up to the monitor. And yeah, we're gonna just test this out. You can see I'm still using this old adapter, but we'll test this one first and then we'll get to the newer adapter. I'm gonna show you how this works through this adapter here and using Amazon Prime. All right, I'll plug this, uh, plug the phone into the adapter here and you'll see this pop up. And so you hit confirm, start now, and then that pops up here. You can see, so we're going to go to Amazon Prime and we're going to watch the HDCP content protected program, which is Victorian Farm. And as you can see, it's not working. As you can see, there's no, no content being displayed here so the problem is that it's not going to work in a nutshell this will not work with your pixel phones so these pixel phones are becoming more and more of a failure in my opinion and it has a lot to do with google making this a failure which is just i don't understand it but anyway so this is with with this adapter i'll plug in the the newer display link adapter and we'll test that one out as well just so you can see so yeah it's disappointing for sure let me try to explain what's going on so the only way this would possibly work is if this display link adapter or another adapter like this display link adapter would do the content protecting stripping the content protection off of the video because the phone goes, the connection from the phone, the first point of contact is this display link adapter. And so between the phone and the display link adapter, they have to decide what content is protected and what's not and what to output to the screen. So f the output from that adapter has already been processed and it's decided, okay, this is content protected video and we're not going to display it on an external monitor so it doesn't matter if the hdmi cable goes through the splitter first and then to the monitor or from the display link adapter straight to the monitor because it's already stripped the the content and video from the video stream so there's no way this can work as long as 
the uh, display link adapter is doing things legally with the DHCP content protected videos. This is not going to be of any use whatsoever to Pixel users. And as far as I can tell, there's no way this is ever going to work with Pixel phones unless there comes a point where Display Link or one of these or some other company decides to do things illegally and strips the content protection off of the video stream and allows you to do that. But I don't think that's going to happen. If you got a Pixel phone, you're once again, yeah, disappointed. You should be disappointed. I wouldn't buy another one, that's for sure. I didn't about this Galaxy phone. So yeah, if you are thinking to buy a Pixel phone, you're probably gonna be disappointed, especially if you wanna do this kind of thing. Probably gonna be in my last Pixel video because at this point it's just looking like it's, yeah, it's kind of pointless doing any more videos at this point with the Pixel phones. I will do a one more video at least to test out to see if I can watch 4K video using this Samsung phone on an external HDMI monitor and have the content uh, protections stripped off using this adapter here. So just to watch for that video and then I have one more video I want to do as well and it's going to show you guys how to get set up so if you ever crack your screen and you're screen is completely shattered and completely unusable you'll still be able to use your phone through your computer but you have to set it up beforehand so i'm going to show you guys how to do that and if you get that set up beforehand no matter what happens as long as your phone is able to boot up even if you can't see the screen you you'll be able to use it just like you normally use your phone so anyway that's it for now take care bye